what's going on guys it's tuesday morning it's like a little bit before six o'clock we're about to head out to the pinnacle access uh boat ramp do the tuesday tournament um it's gonna be a little bit different because I, I thought i was might have been on something last week and the week before whatever but there was a huge tournament there this weekend so there was apparently like a thousand boats for three days so where we think it might be a little fished out so might be some hard fishing up there um it was not a cool night either it was uh it's pretty warm out here actually so we might absolutely do nothing so let's just hope for some luck and uh, see what we can get today um fingers crossed all right so it's about to start and we're, we're gonna stay we're gonna hang around here for a minute there we go it's a little bit late obviously getting set up but there we go now we can start fishing my alarm tells me to move so we're right on time um nothing nothing out there first but so i'm turning those navigation lights up uh, nothing yet but uh we're we're gonna get on something we're gonna get on something okay <laughs> I don't think we're gonna be bringing that one into the way. Yet. <laughs> Good lord. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be bringing that one into the way. But we're, at least we're not gonna be scuffed. Alright, let's go see if he's got any bigger mamas or papas around. fishing today at least for me I never really do good on these days like today I don't know why but anyway we're gonna try a little something something here juice is today but well guys I <laughs> did it again my GoPro I turned my GoPro off tried to save battery life forgot to turn it on when I started fishing I switched to wacky worm and I uh, caught about it, it might be a little bit under two pounds but it's a good one um, or pretty much right off the bat so let's get back at it and see if we can't get another one
Come on. That's two. That's two. And we got that one on tape. There he is. Pretty good one. I throat hooked him. I was able to get the hook out. I freaking hate throat hooks. Um, most of the time with the throat hook, actually all the time, I'll just I'll end up cutting the line and uh, going back through the other way. So we have two hours to catch one more fish. Um, I mean, I have two pretty good ones so far, so we'll see what we got. I mean, I think I'm right around three and a half, three point seven five pounds right now. We catch a two pounder, we'll be in good shape. Um, there's not a lot of people out here for this competition. I think maybe it's kind of hard to tell because there's a big, big tournament going on. Um, this weekend, so there's people are out there's semi pros to pros, I guess, that are out here that we're putting in too. So I think I want to say that there's about 12. I think I want to say there's about 12. Things are just smacking it. All right, so here's another one. I mean, that's it's not a huge one, but that's a good limit. So here he is, not a big one, pretty skinny actually, but that's a limit. That is a limit, and uh. So I have three fish, thank God. Um, and look, we're already doing better. I have two of them on uh, on camera instead of just one, so. Hi. Man, gobbled it. So, so far we have, I wanna say about five pounds right now. Um, maybe even less. No, I think about five pounds is fair. I do have a scale, but what's the point in weighing them if you can if you, in, unless what's the point in weighing them unless you absolutely need to know which one's bigger? Not good today. Caught four fish. One was a minnow. Three were keepers. Got lucky that I actually caught three keepers. Um, not a day like we had last Tuesday, but I'm not good fishing this type of weather. I'm just not. I'm still new to bass fishing and this weather kind of confuses me. We're gonna pack everything up and uh, hopefully get the heck out of here. And hopefully win, but I doubt it. I definitely doubt it. So we're here waiting on the way in. I think I'm estimating about 4. Point, let's just say 4.9 give us up a little bit, but uh, 
I don't know. I don't think I got that good, but who knows? This place got fished out last weekend, and today's it's from what I heard from a couple people, it's been rough for them today, too. So we might win it, who knows? But there's not a whole lot of people here today. I think I think I kind of about 12 or so. So uh, the weather kind of deterred people, and a lot some people fished last weekend all weekend. So that's that's rough. Fish three days, get one day off, then come back and do it again. It's uh definitely got to be rough so not a big not a big turnout today so maybe we can walk away with the w with this little mess of fish but we caught three fish at least we caught three keepers pj's pj's pump so i'll show you guys them in just a minute so we got to be quick because they're waiting on me to weigh in well so first one is this one here not a bad one another one here not a bad one again. Another one here. Not a. No. Let's just see what I weighed in. All right, guys. Sorry, they were waiting on me. I had the wrong spot for the uh, weigh-in, but uh, second place. So pretty cool. These fish won me second place. I'm not gonna handle them no more. Let's just watch them all go. There they go. <laughs> cool deal well i get it so i guess i want a gift card or something i don't know so second place <laughs> not bad at all guys well it's starting to rain here and i don't want to get my uh 25 dollar gift certificate for finishing second place to uh denver tackle to get wet so uh i gotta make this short but uh second place with the perfect uh even five pounds I wouldn't say perfect, but an even five pounds, so not too bad. We'll see you guys next Tuesday. All right, guys, what's going on? Uh, we're going to wrap it up today with the old Tuesday tournament. Um, weighed in less than I did last week, but still it was enough to bring home second place victory. I guess it was a hard day out there on the lake. Uh, there was a huge tournament this weekend. Someone said it was a 1,000 boats, three days, like and it was out of that landing so i guess everything around that radius kind of got hit pretty hard with the old um tournament that went down um also the weather i'm not really good at fishing with this much overcast and rainy conditions um i'm still a new fisherman uh, i just started this summer along with a lot of people because covid 2020 the only thing you can really do is fish but so i just started you know a couple months ago so i haven't really figured out this type of weather and what to do but i guess what i got done today was enough to get a gift card and that is to um the denver tackle company um so we can't wait to use that i've never been there so that gives me a reason to go um 25 25 big ones to spend so <laughs> looking forward to that um we tried some reactionary early on like i would normally do and just wasn't wasn't panning out so I switched to like a finesse combo and I still I still kept throwing some reaction here and there to see what happened, but it just was not happening today. And the guy that finished first place, I asked him, I said, listen, man, I'm not gonna ask you what you use, but reaction or finesse? And he just said power finesse is what he what he got what brought home the first place. So I guess I kinda figured out enough that I was wasn't gonna do it with the reaction at least today and uh either the tournament or the weather or both i don't know um i'm still a new angler so I, I feel like every time i even catch three keepers i'm lucky so but that's two weeks straight so hopefully my luck continues but uh <laughs> we'll get back out there next week and see what happens i would assume there'd be a lot more boats next week so there was a i guess some guys fished the tournament last weekend and then probably some of the older group saw the weather forecast and they were like nah that ain't worth it um because it was calling for pretty nasty weather yesterday um it didn't wasn't that bad but it, it wasn't the best weather um so a little bit of both i think i only brought about 12 boats out there so we had fun you know i got there and i said hey man i drove too far to not fish so let's just do it um because when i got there i only counted five boats i was like oh boy but hey man i'm gonna fish if, if i'm gonna drive somewhere i'm gonna fish it so we had a blast. Um, boat dog, boat dog enjoyed enjoyed the catches. Uh, 
yeah, all in all, successful day, had a blast, and that's all that matters is you're having fun, you're doing it right. That's from one thing I've learned in my short experiences of fishing is if you're having fun, you're doing it right. And that's, that's all there is to it. Guys, if you haven't liked this, subscribe, please, just, um, or comment. You know, I love, I love when people comment, so um, holler at me anytime. Thank you, guys. Love y'all. Bye.